Hi, come on in and welcome back to Level That Puss Up Sis podcast episode two, Baby Mama Culture. See, I have to do a trigger warning because some of you are not ready for this thing called accountability. And as women leveling up in our life, physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, I feel we have to talk about something that is blatant in our communities, in our face that's going on around us. So let's just get started with why we're here. How did you tell your boyfriend? Uh, well, my boyfriend went with me to get the pregnancy test, so mm-hmm. we did the whole thing together. <laughs> well, he really was going off of my reaction because I was crying, to be honest. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was really nervous. Like, having a baby wasn't really... I've always been the one like, I am not having any baby soon. Like, I have hella brothers and sisters. I'm not having a baby. So I was like you know, very emotional, and I was crying when I gave it to him, and he just was like, it's okay, like, it's okay, like, he was just going off of me, but he ended up telling me later, like, he was really excited. Obviously, people say, you have a baby, are you going to get married? I'm actually not, I feel like at my age, I don't really want to get married right now, like, I feel Mm -hmm. like that's an even bigger commitment. I don't know. I hate to say like it's even an even bigger commitment than a baby to me, but getting married just seems like so much. Like so right now that's not really what I would like to do. I feel like my boyfriend is more into like the whole married topic. You know, I just don't know about that yet. Um so yeah, like that's my mom's always like, girl, you have to if your man is talking about marriage, you need to be like, yeah, like, and I'm just like, I just don't feel that way, <laughs> right? Okay. Now, maybe maybe uh, you know down the line that would be mm-hmm. you gotta feel like, okay, yeah, I want to get married. So today we're gonna cover some really hard truths as to why so many women are settling for being a baby mama versus a wife. Now, if you do not desire marriage, I'm not pushing my philosophies or my ideals or morals onto anyone. I just want to highlight some of the dysfunction so that you can be the best you possible, so you can have the best life possible without the struggle. I believe being someone's baby mother is a part of that struggle, love, ideology, Um, buying into it subscribing to it adapting to it it's just saying you're okay with it and I'm not okay with that I'm not okay with women having children without fathers in the home I'm very pro marriage before a carriage uh if he wants you to have his baby he will marry you I'm not even going into the dynamics of the financial situation. I'm just stating the truth. And a lot of women are settling for being a baby mama because they want the attachment right along with the man to say, this is someone who I had sex with and this is the product of that sex. See, I'd rather marry the wrong person and have the option to divorce than to have someone's baby and have to deal with a lifelong commitment and realize that I had a baby with the wrong type of man. See, a lot of you have been programmed and brainwashed and y'all are into this fantasy world of Wakanda land, but we are dealing with reality. And the reality is 77% of you have succumbed into the baby mama culture. Now you can always escape, you can do better and you can level up. It's just gonna be a little bit harder for you. And I'm not here to shame you, I'm just here to tell you the truth. And to the women who do not have kids, you don't have to settle for a baby mama role. It's not worth it. It's not paying. People don't care if you're the richest woman on earth. The moment you decide to have a a baby with a man who didn't marry you, who wasn't going to marry you, you are a baby mother. It's a tough pill for some of you to swallow. It's a tough pill for some of you to understand. Some women wear it like it's a badge of honor, but women who value themselves do not. They want more. And if you want more out of life, being a baby mama is not going to get you there. Anybody who understands economics knows that. And if you don't, look it up. I would say 
a lot of black men, because so many women desire black men, you have to be careful. These men are showing up to the party without protection. They don't care. If they'll sleep with you raw, they'll sleep with everybody else raw. Do not listen to them. They are not actively getting tested. They're relying solely on you to do all the work. And then when you get pregnant, they're shocked. Then they want to demean you, undermine you. They want to talk bad on you on how you should have prevented it. But if you didn't want babies, you would wear a condom, right? That would make sense, right? Oh, because you're the woman you should be on birth control. I forgot. How silly of me. Ladies, we got to do better. I told y'all we're going to wear our big girl panties today. See, here's some tactics on how to not adopt into the struggle love philosophy and mantra. The first thing you have to do is vet the men who you're dating. And when I'm talking about dating, I'm not talking about sex. See, a lot of people are hypersexualized to the point where they think I've been talking to you for a week now. I'm ready for you to bust it down. Bend it over. Do the cucumber challenge. Etc. Etc. Because I'm such a physical being. And then you sleep with them and you feel low. See sex ruins a lot of things. Do not succumb to sex culture either. It's a dangerous ball game. Sex is a ritual act. Some of you don't understand that. The more reading you do, you'll understand. But I'll break it down simply. Some people have sex with you just so they can be energized in the spiritual realm to do whatever they need to do. And I'll leave it at that. Take the puss off the table, ladies. These men are unworthy of your vagina, especially if they're talking that baby mama, baby daddy talk. Like, I would love for you to carry my baby. I can see you pregnant with my seed. You know, the Ronnie Ho quotes. Don't listen. Don't listen. These men are lazy. They don't want to go buy condoms. They don't want to pay child support. They don't want the man in their business. You should be on birth control. Didn't your mama teach you any better? Listen. I just want to put the tip in. Child, bye. That all leads to pregnancy. You have to have standards. And stick to them. These men are not stupid. They're not dumb. They can spot a woman who has something going for herself, who has potential to be greater. They don't care if they derail that. They're going to tell you it's not their fault. You don't have to talk to them. And you don't. Have some standards, ladies. If he has multiple baby mothers, he's never been married, sis, you're about to be another baby mama. You do not have to hold these men down just because a song said it, a man said it, your daddy said it, your mama said it, some male identified woman told you to. You do not have to do that. Because the moment you become pregnant, they'll throw you a baby shower and say, girl, you know she having a baby with some and some, don't you got kids already? Ooh, I see they don't like marriage these days. And then you out here defending your honor because you lack self-worth. And you allowed this man to disrespect you. And you allowed him to make you a baby mother. While you was out here promoting how much of a blessing he was giving you when y'all were happy. Child boo. Y'all can run that game on people who don't know no better. I done seen it enough. And this goes on in the ghettos. The suburbs. The gated communities, it don't matter. It doesn't matter if the man is rich and it doesn't matter if he's poor. If he has that Ray Ray and Pookie mindset, he gonna make you a baby mama at all cost and go about his way and his day because he's gonna be like, John was here. Travis was here. Tyrone was here. That's my baby mama, bruh. 
when he talking amongst his friends. The things men say about women and y'all believe them when they give y'all relationship advice? If these men really value marriage, do you think the unwed mother single single parent numbers would be up? Do you honestly believe that? The fatherless homes? 77 something percent? I think one lady said it was 85 and I was just like, good lord. So when they're out here talking about how black women don't like black men, you fooling me. There's so many of these little black kids running around. Who Who's the daddy? Jesus? Is it Jesus? These men don't care. They feel because they have money, they have some type of power, they can do what they want, and that's why you have to be prepared. Ladies, you have to see the signs. Because it's, these men are not walking labels. Baby mama maker, they going to run that that tired Ronnie Ho quote stuff on y'all. And you have to be strong in your morals. You have to be strong in your commitment to yourself and your divestment. Otherwise, you're going to be like the rest. You're going to be like these IG girls having to defend themselves. And nobody say anything. As men call them out their names. And say you wasn't nothing but a hoe. Or you was just having a, a baby for a chick. Or you got to fight their mamas in court for your baby's benefits. Child, no. At least when you married, if something was to happen, your your children are entitled to some things. Whether it's child support, a lifestyle, something. Being a baby mama brings you nothing but shame. These men don't care. They see it as, oh, she's my baby mama. I take care of my kid. So what's the problem? But they want to tell y'all about generational wealth and legacy and tribisms and, oh, Lord. That broke woke hotep Kool-Aid and that shea butter baby talk is something serious. It's so good. And when you see the contributing factors, you start to realize you've been played. Ladies, I don't want to try to be played. I've seen it. I've seen women be traumatized. I've seen women cry because they're tired. I've seen women say, I don't want a man with kids. I don't want to have kids. I'm not doing this ever again because they're scarred for life. Because they love somebody. Oh, I love him. He loves me. And and we have a love child. No, sis. No, if he loved you, he'd marry you. Men who love women, respect them. Because respect goes a long way with a man. And you can always tell when a man respects a woman. He invests in her. He marries her. He provides for her. He protects. He establishes generational wealth and a legacy. Something that his children can look up to. So they can be fostered in an environment where it's productivity and not dysfunction. See, y'all don't understand that because y'all are out here watching Team Mom. And you're out here watching the Rick Rosses. And little babies. Well, little baby got Jada, a Birkin bag. But sis is out here distraught. Because the other baby mama had to shame him publicly for him to take care of his own. Make it make sense. Is this what we succumb to? Do y'all really believe baby mama culture is the move? Let me know. I don't have all the answers. Do you feel men respect baby mothers? Do you feel baby mothers can get wiped up? Do you think they have it better? I'm not saying it's not happening, but they got to work twice as hard. Sis, you don't have no kids. Do not give up your life for no man. Just because your mama didn't tell you not to. Comment down below and I gotta go. Bye loves.